Hey everyone, it's Steve here from CoinKite, and today we're going to be showing off our new temporary seed and seed vault functions on our cold card queue. Let's get started. Temporary seed is a feature that is intended for those one-off signings. We do not recommend handling unencrypted seed material on a regular basis. Later in the video, we'll enable seed vault for folks that wish to store these seeds longer term. For temporary seeds, go down to advanced tools and select temporary seed. Temporary seed is a temporary secret completely separate from the master seed, typically held in the cold card RAM and not persistent between reboots in the secure element. Again, for longer term and encrypted secrets, you'll want to use seed vault. For now, press 4 to continue. You'll now have six options to import your temporary seed, which is generate words, import from QR, import words, import expriv, tap signer backup, and cold card backup. Let's go through each option step by step to show you how it's done. First, we're going to select generate words by pressing enter, then hitting enter again to generate 12 words. After this, you'll have the option to write down those words, or you can skip the quiz and just use it as a temporary seed. We're not going to write down those words, and we're going to press 6 to skip. The device will ask, are you sure? Because if we turn off the device, that seed is wiped and any funds on it will be lost. Once you hit enter, it will apply that temporary seed and show the new extended fingerprint at the top, as well as an indicator that this is a temporary seed in red letters. Hit enter, and you'll be back at the main screen. You can now export this wallet, sign transactions, do whatever you want, and when you're ready, you can go down to Restore Master to go back to the main seed. You can now press Enter to forget the current temporary seed settings, or you can press 1 to save those settings for later, if the same seed is later restored. We hit Enter to forget the settings, and are now back at the main seed. And that's our temporary seed function in a nutshell. Now let's go through the other temporary seed options you have as well. This time, we're selecting Import from QR. Now it's time to grab our QR code and scan to import. As you can see, the new temporary master key is in effect. Next, we're going to add a temporary seed via import words. We're selecting 12 words and inputting manually. After hitting enter, it will apply and your temporary seed will be ready to go. Now we're going to go through the import expriv method. We're going to hit enter, then select QR to import our expriv. Now we're going to add a tab signer backup with our .aes file and decryption key on the back of the card. And finally, we're going to use the cold card backup method, using the SD card as well, and the 12 word encrypted backup. Great. Now that we know how to set a temporary seed, let's set up our seed vault so that we can save those temporary seeds for later use. First, you're going to want to go to Advanced Tools, then select Danger Zone. Once you're in the Danger Zone menu, select Seed Vault. Hit enter again, and you'll have the option to enable or disable Seed Vault. We selected enable and hit enter. As you can see, Seed Vault is now added to our main menu. Now let's go into the Seed Vault menu and see what's there. As you can see, there's no seed set, and we have the option to import a temporary seed again. You have the exact six same options as before, but now we can actually save these to our Seed Vault. We're now gonna generate another 12 word seed and then add it to our Seed Vault. As you can see, we have a new prompt that says press 1 to store temporary seed into Seed Vault. So we're going to press 1. Now the newly generated seed has been saved to our Seed Vault. We're now going to press enter 
And just like before, this temporary seat is being applied and ready to sign from. And when we're ready, we can go down to Restore Master to go back to that main seat. But the difference this time is that it's saved in our seat vault so we can go back anytime we want. Let's go into our seat vault menu to check it out. Now we see our temporary seed that we saved, and whenever we feel like it, we can go back into that seed and use that seed again. Hit enter, then select use this seed. And just like before, we are applying and now using this temporary seed. If you wish to delete the seed from the seed vault, go back into the seed vault and select the seed you wish to delete. Then select delete. Hit enter, and you will wipe the seed. We now have no seeds set in our seed vault. You also have the option to rename your seed into something that's more familiar rather than a few letters and numbers. In your seed vault, click on the seed that you wish to rename, then select Rename. After hitting Enter, the seed has now been saved to a new name. Here's a cool feature. You can use seed vault with seed XOR here I'm going to combine two of my Seed Vault seeds with my main seed to recover my Seed XOR wallet. First, go to Advanced Tools, then select Danger Zone. Now select Seed Functions, then select Seed XOR. Now click Restore Seed XOR. It's important that all parts of the Seed XOR are the same length, meaning that I have three seeds here and they are all 12 words long. I'm pressing 1 for seed XOR with 12 words. The cold card will now ask if you wish to use your main seed as part of the seed XOR. We're going to press 1 to include it. The device now states that there's two seeds in your seed vault that are able to be used with the seed XOR. We're going to press 2 to include these. We're now going to hover over each option and press 1 to select them. Now that they are both selected, I'm going to click Enter to include them. Now that we have all three parts, we're going to select 2 to create the seed XOR. The seed XOR wallet has now been recovered, and we even have the option to save the seed XOR wallet into our seed vault. We're going to hit enter to continue without saving. We've now successfully recovered our seed XOR using our one main seed and two seed vault seeds. Also, if you wish to save this seed for later use, you can go back into seed vault and select Add current TMP, and that will save the seed XOR wallet that you just made. Another helpful tip is that you can use BIP85 along with your seed vault. Just go to Advanced Tools, then select Derive Seeds. And once you generate your BIP85 wallet, you'll have the option to store it into your seed vault. As you can see, you can press 1 to store this temporary seed into your seed vault. It has now been saved. And for the final tip, you can use your seed vault along with your trick pin wallets. In this case, we're using a duress wallet as one of our trick pins. Select into a specific trick pin, then select activate wallet. Hit enter once more to apply. And there you have it you'll be prompted to press 1 to save this seed into your seed vault. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more information or to make a purchase, go to coinkite.com.